you know, the last thing that we wanted to do would be, you know, to, to walk away um, if we didn't feel like the people that are going to remain here would, would not be in a position to be successful. Um, that was very, very important to us. We wanted to leave, um, you know, people in a position to be successful. And, and I think, uh, you know, they've, we've got everybody back. We've got a good nucleus. We've got good newcomers. Um, you know, we've got momentum in recruiting. And so there's just a lot of factors that I think just kind of weighed into our decision to do this now rather than, than wait. You know, I think from the beginning we planned that we started together and we would finish together. Um, it gives us an opportunity to kind of close one chapter and open another. Um, I like to work. I really like to work, but um, I think we're going to find different ways to spend our time and move forward. And um, so it makes it easier to close a chapter and open another. Can you take me back to the fall of 99 and the offer of the job? I'm going, okay, that's going to be a tough job. <laughs> it's great, but it's going to be a tough job. And, you know, we had things set up. We were rolling over there, two consecutive national titles. And I'm thinking, you know, it would be very easy for us to stay where we were. You know, these only come along once in a while. And, and, um, and so that was kind of the conversation. It, it's, uh, do, we, do we take a chance? <laughs> it was scary because, you know, you're going from safe, secure, and successful to who knows what's going to happen over here. Was jumping in together, did that make it easier, Susan? I think so. I think because we kind of have a routine with the way we do things. We felt like if we were going to do it, we would go together um, and tackle it, quite honestly. But it was, it was scary. Susan, how do you describe the, the dynamic that you two have developed in leading programs over the course of your careers? You know, I think it's kind of a give and take. I mean, I think we have our strengths, each one of us, but I, and that works well, but I think we can also kind of go in and out of roles as we need to. In that regard, we were really lucky. Um, and, and I think in order to make this work, you do have to, you know, sometimes, I mean, you gotta have some thick skin. <laughs> I think one of the things that we were always able to do, which was very helpful, is we were always able to, to put the welfare of the kids that we had in our charge above everything else. You mentioned leaving the program, you know, in a good spot, loaded roster. You're leaving it in, in good hands as well. And, and what, are your, what are your thoughts on, on uh, Josh and, and Molly taking over? I'm happy that they're going to get an opportunity to do this. They obviously have the, the, the volleyball sport knowledge. There's, you know, that's a no-brainer. Uh, but I think what separates them from a lot of other people we've run into, I think they're just, they're caring about you know, character and principle and integrity and honesty and taking care of the players and, and treating them well, I think is what is, what, uh, is gonna take them a long way. Any free advice for them on how to work with your spouse? That's something you gotta figure out on their own. <laughs> what was your favorite moment? One of the, my favorite things that Susan ever did um, was she had the idea at one time of uh, covering up a big wall space near our locker room area down in the Hearns uh, with a collage of player pictures. It's the memories of each one of those kids and little things here and there that they all have done that uh, I think to me at the end of the day, that's, it's, it's just all those little things. It is, and that wall, that wall helps bring it back. You look at that and Every person on that wall brings four or five stories and four or five memories. And, um, and the same thing with our current players. You start thinking about recruiting them and, and the visits and bringing them in and the relationships that you develop with these kids. And, you know, I don't know if you could pick one or another this is it moment. And for each of you, how special is Mizzou and, and how special has, has your, your run here been to you? Mizzou's, I mean, it's been everything. You know, everything that we have really is because of, of is because of sport you know first of all we've been very fortunate athletics has given us has provided everything for us um, in Mizzou for the last 20 years I mean you know our, our family our, our, our where we live you know our community it's 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 way more than 
like I said, it, this has been way more than just a job. It, it's been, you know, you, the family cliche thing anymore is almost, <laughs> but, but honestly, it, it's, it's, you become a part of that. It's, it's a part of who you are. Um, and so in that regard, it's, it's been way more than just a job. You know, it's been, you know, our life. It's been our life. It's been our life. It's been every day. I mean, you know, it, you don't, it's like Monday through Friday. No, no. It's just like this is what you do. And, um, and we loved it. And I think the hardest part in trying to get to a point like today is knowing that that's going to be different. And having to navigate through not being able to just be in here at 6.37 or 10 o'clock at night, you know, and you know, turning your keys in, you know, those kind of things, knowing that your chapter, your this is over and that something else has begun because this was just so much a part of us for so long.